Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be talking about how to gain a following on the socials. This is going to be based on artists, but it's for anybody that's looking for a way to gain on Twitter especially because that's where I gain the most from. But you can apply all these steps, these maneuvers or principles on all the other social media platforms because it applies to every one of them. So five guys, five. But before I get to that, please comment below, like, subscribe, you know, show the boys some love and let's keep growing and keep getting this channel out there. So I've been getting a lot of DMs over the past two or three years regarding how to grow your base on social media. You know, a lot of people have been asking me stuff like, Coley, how do I grow? How, I want to release a song soon. How must I go about dropping that? How should I go about a rollout plan? People are sleeping on my music. Uh, I'm quality or I have dope music but I don't have a fan base and everybody starts at that point whether you're an artist, entrepreneur, business, anything, events, what what everybody starts from nothing you know and the only way to get out there more is being out there more number one is make sure that you are actually active on social media that you have a name that is easily searchable, that is unique from other people. So when people look you up on the internet, that you come out easily. So it doesn't get jumbled up with other people, that you come out the first search. When somebody searches you online, it should be you that comes up first. Make sure that you're easily searchable, that you have a username that people can easily remember. You know, hopefully that it's catchy, that it stands out. Make sure that it's out there, that it shows, that people know that it's you. Yeah, that's just, it's just the most, I think that's the most important thing. Even though the others are, are more are more important or more detailed, um, that is the most important. When somebody looks you up on the socials, you need to be able to come up. Away. Number two, um, make sure if you're an artist that you are jumping on hype that you're jumping on gas, that you're jumping on people that are dropping new songs. So if Ariana Grande or, or Telemann or Nasty C drops a song today and the, if somebody does the instrumental on the socials and they drop it on YouTube, take that, take that instrumental, uh, jump on it as soon as possible, drop it on YouTube, make sure that you tag uh, Nasty C, Telemann, whatever, their names and then you say cover, you, 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 you type this song, um, SMA cover, you know, and then you say Nasty C SMA cover. And then on the tags list below there, you can tag Nasty C, you can tell Teleman, you can tell Universal. When they look Nasty C up, that is gonna come up, your cover. So people are just naturally gonna click on that. So you're gonna get a fan base from jumping on people that songs are trending. So if they're trending on Spotify, they're trending on iTunes, if they're trending on Google Play, anywhere where it's trending, and make sure that you are jumping on that hype because it helps a lot. You can get two, three people if you constantly uh, jump on it. Maybe when you do it once, you might get five people, and then the next time you get 10 people, and the next time you get 15 people. If you're consistent with it, you're constantly gonna get a fan base. But it's not gonna help if you do that and then all of a sudden you disappear because you're going to lose those fans. Um, South African attention span, well not just South Africa, it's like all over the world. Our attention span is very low. So if you disappear off the socials and you stop tweeting or you stop posting or you stop doing anything or stop being active, uh, people forget about you. That's, that's hard facts. Number three, don't just be a uh, artist in the studio. Like, go out there, show your personality on the socials. Make sure that you're interacting with people on social media, that you are following people that are within your career field. So if you're a come up artist, make sure you're following other come up artists and you're networking with them so you guys can can build in terms of that. So if somebody's from Joburg and you're from Cape Town and you, and you know that this person from Joburg can connect you to other people, don't have that approach at the time. Make sure that your approach to them is genuine, that you love their music. And then from there, when you constantly interact with them, they're going to introduce you to more people. 
that's how you can gain instead of some people are not good with the social media thing of creating content all the time and being consistent and always being online because they're busy with other things not just artists being an artist but other things as well that is another way to gain a base if your name is constantly showing up on people's songs people are gonna wonder who this person is that is always getting featured and then people are gonna naturally look you up and then you're gonna get fat bases because people are gonna treat you like yo I heard you on this person's song uh, I really vibe with your work I'm gonna follow you and I'm gonna keep track of your progress that's what happens it's natural that you need to work in order to get um, attention from people and number four taking part in hashtags taking part in what's trending not just music but what's trending on the social so if politics trends if um, why why I am single trends anything that just make grabs your attention that you're able to give your input in your own unique individual input and make it sound funny or make it sound deep or woke or whatever but it able to stand out that's gonna help you a lot with content because they're gonna realize people are gonna realize that you're not just an artist in the studio you're also an artist in life of creating content you are a content creator not just somebody that is confined to a studio space that helps a lot especially in South Africa we love people who are extra bra we love it bruh. if you're extra and you're out there and you're able to grow your brand not just in music outside music you're gonna go very far in the entertainment industry in general you need to get out there you need to get on the blogs you need to get on everywhere you know even if you're getting on a TV segment to talk about relationships at least you are on there you are able to negotiate and be like yo can I at the end of the show maybe perform in the slot that a, uh, a performer would perform or can I promote my single or find a way within those relationships to promote a song that you talked about relationships um, in whatever catalog you had you promote it in that um, show. So you say, yeah, like my song, for example, I wrote a song about this relationship stuff, you know, and the lyrics go like this, you know, that's how you promote your song. And people are gonna go look it up and be like, yo, okay, this song is actually dope. Don't just be confined to one idea or one type of uh, promo or rollout plan. Think outside the box because everything just adds up. And the more you acknowledge other people's opinion and th they can see that you are accepting of the um, points of view, they're going to look at your content more when you post to them and they're going to check you out naturally because they can see that you guys are sinking when it comes to uh, work and, 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 and content being put out there. So it's just natural for them to come look at you or come check you out for an opinion because it's very important. That's another way to grow. Also have content that you drop because somebody's going to check you out and if you don't have anything on your socials but you only have replies, nobody's going to see that because replies has its own type of category and then your post has its own. So it's split up so you need to also post your opinion at the same time also comment on other people's opinion. That helped a lot for me, you know, when I was coming up because I couldn't just start hashtags out the blue. I needed to take part in other people's uh, engagements. I needed to give my opinions in that and for that to blow up or for people to get attention from that. And then I just throw those people that I get from those engagement feeds and replies to come and um, follow me. That's the only way to do it if you're not into these other things. It's the best way. It's the most fun way because you have control of everything you can say whatever you want and you're not going to get it right the first time you constantly have to practice these things in order to get them right you're not going to get them right in one go not everybody starts up as social media quality or talented in that because i spent four years on social media bro. four years on social media on twitter especially before i actually popped on it so Make sure that you're covering all the bases. Oh, before I finish, when you're starting out on social media, it's good to start out on one platform. And then you concentrate on that one platform and growing that one platform. Yes, it's good to have the other ones, but you have to have one that you concentrate especially on. And then once that one grows and you know the algorithm and everything that works on there, then you attract people from those platforms or that platform to to follow you on this other one. So if you're Twitter friendly and you know what's happening on Twitter, then you're going to post your Instagram stuff and you're gonna take part in follow uh, tweets. So to gain on this other platform. 
that's another best way to do it because if you split the attention it's not going to work out because you know you're not going to be able to learn everything split don't split your attention trust me it doesn't work it takes longer focus on one and then after you've grown that one to maybe 5,000 followers or 4,000 or 3,000 followers then you ask those people to go follow in your other one so yeah guys that is my tips on how to grow on the socials especially for artists that are constantly complaining no the industry doesn't want to let me in no they're sleeping on me no i'm underrated nah you're not underrated bro nobody's sleeping on you nobody's doing any of that it's up to you if you're gonna grow or you're not gonna grow it's up to you aware if you haven't commented, liked or subscribed yet please do the things please support the boy if you have any comments you want to make comment below press that like button press the bell press the subscribe button if you like this video you know what to do see you guys on the next video